Hello and welcome back, it's the Clay Golem here. We are in Foundry VTT. We're looking at a module today. Before I talk about exactly what that module is, I'm going to show you an alternative way to do the uh, something that we've already got in place. So if you watch the videos when we were looking at Monk's Active Tile Trigger, one of the, one of the things we used that for was for uh, in Fandolin for navigating around town uh, and being able to for the players to be able to visit shops pop into places do their shopping pop out again etc so i've got sorryman on the screen here i'm logged in as a player you can hear my background noise as just the general town stuff going on uh, you can hear the smithy because i'm quite close to that at the moment but if i move sorryman over here to barthen's provisions and move him actually onto that icon it teleports him into the shop. Uh, so now we can double click um, on Elmina Bartham, we can do our shopping, etc. And when we're done, we can just move our token to the exit, and here he is back outside. And we've got a couple of different places where that works. And this all works fine. Gotta to go to the exit, there we go. This all works fine, quite happy with that. Uh, but in this video, I want to look at a different tool that we could use to do that. Um, rather than using Monk's active tile triggers, which works fine, but you know, different methods for different uh, for different people for different usages. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, so I'm logged into our active family one, but I'm going to switch out to also get rid of all those background noises uh, back to our testing world where I can show this off. So let me just log into here. Here we go, and we're in Fandlin. So the module that we're going to be looking at in this one, if I go to my manage modules, I've still got the other things in, but we're looking at Stairways Teleporter, which essentially does that for us without all of the other additional tools that come with uh, Monk's Active Tile Triggers. And of course we use Monk's Active Tile Triggers for, uh, for traps and all sorts of other things as well. But this is a much smaller, neater way of doing certain things. All right, so first of all, um, configure settings. There are none. There's no settings to configure. It tells you that this is quite a simple module um, and therefore takes up less space and everything else, which is good. So I have uh, Nundro here. Uh, and he can wander around uh, Thunder Tree and, oh look, he's found some stairs. Now, walking onto those stairs doesn't actually do anything, but if I click on them, it has effectively teleported from one set of stairs to the other. So my only um, hesitation about using this one is you can't make that an active trigger as in when you walk on it. Uh, it's a click only, so click on it and I move from one set of stairs to the other. Now, wherever he is, as long as he can see those stairs, he can click on it and move. So that's my one um, limitation, hesitation about using this one, is they can click those stairs from across the room. And I can't see there's any way to be able to stop that. There is no, they have to be in range um, before that activates. The only way I can think of getting that is to use something else like an active tile trigger to say that if you're within range, then this stair is activated. So you might as well use the active tile trigger <laughs> and not, not bother with this. But it's really neat and it's really simple. And you can just teleport from one to the other, which is great, really, really nice. Now I've got another one. If I walk into the other room over here, I've got another one here. Uh, and if I click on this one, it actually takes me to a completely different scene. So it happens to have taken us over to the, uh, the to the observatory here from Stormwreck Isle. Uh, but it means that we can just use that as a very simple teleporter between scenes. Really nice and easy. So it's really good. So when we look at certain things like when we look at Stormwreck Isle, we've got the ship that you've got multiple layers and you want to teleport them between layers. This will absolutely do that really nice and neatly. It just have to remember that you have to click rather than uh, anything else to be able to do it. You can't just walk onto the tile. Um, but it absolutely works. Oh, I've lost him. Where'd he go? Oh, how interesting. I always encounter these little bugs, don't I? <laughs> or little little things. I've lost him. I've killed Nundro. Oh, he's back. <laughs> I think maybe I just was uh, a little too quick there. And for whatever reason, he got lost in the ether. 
Yeah, not sure what happened. Oh, he's gone again. Oh no, he's over there. What are you doing down there? Click on that. There we go. Um, that's just me clicking too rapidly. Uh, but yeah, it's really nice and neat. So let's have a little look at how this actually works and how we set this up. So when we've got this installed, this module, so it's called uh, Stairways in brackets Teleporter. Uh, we get another option on the left hand side here. So this Stairways Controls. And you can see there's only a few options here. Um, one of them is Create Stairways. We can lock stairways to make sure that they can't be used. We can hide them and we can use animate movement on. But they're all things that we can set within our stairways themselves. So let's create a new one. Um, let's pop one Let's pop one down here in this corner. So with this uh, create stairways on, I can just single left click and there we go, I've got my first icon. Let's double left click it to open this up. Now the first thing you can see is it's telling us in yellow that it's missing its partner in the current scene because you need two. So an exit and an entry point, uh, which works both directions, of course. Um, you can't have three linked because it won't know which one to send you to. So you, it's literally one entry point, one exit point, and it works in both directions. Um, you can see that you can potentially move to a, another scene here or within the current scene. You don't need to worry about that drop down at this point. What you do need to worry about is this ID. So the two ends need to have the same ID, that way it knows to link them. But if I create another one, if I just left click over here, it because it's got one that's open and doesn't have a partner, it automatically says, oh, hang on a minute, you must be the partner. So you can see it's drawn this line between them. You can see it between that one as well. That only shows up in the DM view, of course, while I'm actually in this menu. Um, just to show that those two are linked. Okay, so I'm still on this left one here. Um, I now know that this ID is linked and that one's got the same ID. I can open that one as well and just prove it. They've got the same IDs there. Uh, but there's a few other options here. I can change the icons to doors um, of various types, an exit icon, a cave icon, which of course I've used, um, houses and things like that. But also I can upload my own icons, which is really nice. Um, so I can do anything I want with those, make it a ladder, make it, you know, a, a, a trapdoor or something like that. Click on the trapdoor, they go down it, they end up in the cave system. So even if you've got multiple maps on the same scene, let's say you've got Thunder Tree and then you've got another map over to the right here of the, the cellar levels and things, you can teleport, they go down the trapdoor, they click on it and it teleports them over to that part of the map uh, and then they can do that. So you don't have to have it on a separate scene but you absolutely can. It depends how big those maps are going to be. Uh, it depends how you want to break it up. I mean, personally, I would just have them as different scenes and teleport between those scenes myself, but it does depend on the size. Okay, a few other things we can do. We can change the size of these icons. You'll notice these ones are quite small down here. Let's make these stairs again. These are quite small. Um, we can put them back to a, whoops, put them back to a full, um, a full size here. We'll have them something like 0.8. Um, 0 0.8 which makes them you know slightly smaller than your tile looks a little bit nicer we can lock it so if we lock it it means you can't use it uh, that might be really obvious let's save that let's select Nundro you can see this has got a padlock on it so if I click on it it still works oh it's because I'm the DM that's why <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm logged in as the DM. That's why it still works. Um, but yeah, you can lock it to say that actually this is not usable. So it might be a locked trapdoor. So they can't click on it. They can't go down it until they've picked the lock, solved the puzzle, whatever it might be. And then that way becomes open to them. So that's really nice. The fact that we can lock those. That's a, um, a nice one. We can also hide it from the players completely. And you can see that they fade out when I click that. Um, and it's fading out. Yeah, just, just this one end. So you can have a secret e entrance or a secret exit and do it that way, which is quite nice. Um, and the last option we have here on the front page is this animate movement. So if I click save on that, uh, didn't want to do that, click, uh, select down Nundro, get rid of that. Select down Nundro, and when he clicks on this one, again, he may not be doing it because I'm in as the player. It was working over on that one over here. 
um, what it will do is one of two things it will either teleport you directly between the two or it will drag the icon so effectively I've got my other Nundro now like that okay so when the players in if you've got that animate on I've lost him again um, if you've got that animate on then uh, it will drag across rather than teleport which is great for some particular uses obviously for teleporting between scenes and things it will just teleport it won't animate it it won't drag them across now I would imagine in most cases you would want it to teleport from one to the other and this was the issue we had with Stormwreck Isle when we were looking at the ship um, in this case well you go down the ladder and then we drag the the, the token to the next area and of course they see everything between the two areas which we don't want and why we started looking at things like the um, monks active tile triggers to teleport from one place to another this is essentially doing that same thing and teleporting for us so it's very nice very easy simple to use okay so the next thing we do have labels so we can change things like fonts we can use so it says use partner scene name and things like that um, I mean, I'm just going with icons. I don't need to have anything revealed on this. Uh, and the last option we've got here is just the coordinates of where it is, which is just from dragging anyway. So uh, let's just prove the point, the fact that we can change these things. And we save that. Uh, there we go. We've changed the lettering, but there is no lettering to see. Therefore, <laughs> we can't see anything there. All right, uh, let's put the label in. Let's put poop in because that's what we're like when we're mature. There we go. Now you can see it's come up in red. So we don't have to have a label at all. I probably wouldn't. Um, you might want to just to remind people, especially if you've got like a portal room and you might want to remind people there's several of them, which one goes where. So really simple little module, not an awful lot more to say on it. Um, you can move your players by when they click on it they can move from one area to another either by it auto dragging them across the scene or by instantly teleporting but the fact that you can do that between scenes as well you don't need to get stuck into monks active tile triggers and those some of those other ways of doing it this is really really simple use stairs to go up and down between levels um, you know if you're using different maps for the different levels rather than using um, the actual um, the, the rippers uh, levels module which I have got installed still but I'm not using that on this um, you can just use those stairs to do that um, I think uh, for me the, the greatest function is being able to say things like yes you go into a cave and it will link to that and it takes you to a different scene um, pretty nicely uh, again monks active tile triggers we can do that that's what we did in Fandolin but we absolutely could use this instead of monks active tile triggers for those shops I've run out of things to say about it it's really nice it's neat it's beautiful it works really well even if it is limited so uh, yeah let me know in the comments if it's the kind of thing that you are going to use in your game uh, personally I'm going to stick with monks active tile triggers for now because that's doing other things as well Cheers, guys. Take care.